stars in. Here we are at Osaka Castle, which is our first stop for the day. the weather today um, so I'm just going around the Osaka castle it is so huge and so amazing and the temperature is amazing it's breezy so it's a perfect day to explore the park um, also here there's a place where you can rent a boat I guess and then go around the castle from the lake Also, I noticed that this place is surprisingly empty, even though it's um, Osaka's one of Osaka's biggest landmark. But I think it's because Japan just opened its border for tourists, so not a lot of people are here yet. So this is the best time to visit Japan. Um, I will explain more about things that you need to prepare or things that you need to enter Japan uh, in the end of the video. So I hope you stick through the end. Up here for a little bit longer while soaking this beautiful view behind me I just want to mention that I love how friendly people are um, obviously there is a big language barrier because I don't speak Japanese and I think most of Japanese people they don't speak English but they're so friendly while offering the help so this old lady came to me while I was taking picture and she didn't speak English so she was trying to explain something to me she actually tried to help me take pictures um, which I think it's really sweet Perdana nyobain honey machine in Japan um, let's see how it goes Ulangi, ulangi terus, terus. Okay, I heard Japan <laughs> took their toilet to another level, so we're gonna check out their toilet at the park. I'm really impressed. It's really clean. is filled with delicious food okay we're about to try one of the best takoyaki here in Osaka make sure you come to this place it's called Wanaka in Osaka you can find it in the Tonburi the other one that's really famous is the one with the giant squid over there <laughs> They will come to the bridge to take the photo with the Glico man But I would definitely recommend you go down there and look at this bridge And 
there's a perfect photo spot over there. Another food stop. I'm in a place called. Wait, can we read it again? Sushi Katsu Daruma. This place is filled with people. This is also another recommended place by one of my friends who live here in Osaka. So basically, if you love fried deep fried stuff, you're gonna love this place. The food that they serve are like deep fried skewers. I just ordered um, like a set menu. We're gonna see how it goes. So basically, you use this sauce. Um, pour it over here. And then you took one of the fritters, dip it here. And then you can eat it. I'm only supposed to dip it in a sauce once, then bite it. And then you're not supposed to dip it in again. To wear masks here, hence here's the mask. So I hope you guys can hear me clearly. But it's such a beautiful day, and the first stop in Universal Studios is Harry Potter World. See what's that? That's the car that Ron crashed in Harry Potter. Oh my god, we're here in Harry Potter world. I am screaming inside. <laughs> or maybe a little bit out loud too. But this place is amazing. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Going to get some water beer. Excited to give it a try. By the way, this is not alcoholic, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh my god, I really like the bone. It's really sweet and fluffy, creamy, amazing. Mm. Cheers.
okay we're heading to the ride that i'm really excited about it's harry potter and the forbidden journey i heard about this ride a lot they say this is a must ride here when you come to usj so let's see about that and thankfully because we are we came here during weekdays so the wait is actually not too bad so i saw it outside they said it's only 10 minutes right where if you come on week weekends or where it's usually really packed it usually you usually have to wait for like two to three hours so oh my god that was amazing i do highly recommend starting with that one before you go on and try another amazing ride because that one just blew my mind it's amazing and if you're a harry potter fan like me definitely give this one a try So that's with Harry Potter World. Now I'm going to the attraction that is most thrilling, the flying dinosaur. I'm so nervous about it. I just had one of the most intense, the most thrilling ride I've ever had in my entire life. It's called the Flying Dinosaur. Oh my god. I got on the first row and it took it to another level. <laughs> I was totally screaming the entire ride, but it was totally worth it. Okay, now let's take it down a little bit. We're going to explore Minion Park. Oh my god, cuties! A lot of people really put on effort on dressing up. Kudos to them. So cool. I'm in a happy land. The banana ice cream and fruit. Okay, here's the banana ice cream. I'm here. Moment of truth. Mm. Wow. It's actually really good. Especially because I really love banana. The banana flavor really kicks in. We are 
in Nintendo World right now. I just got Pinocchio. Uh, oh my god, so cute. I So as I promised before, I'm gonna share with you guys the things that you need to prepare before you're coming to Japan. Um, this is based on my experience as an Indonesian citizen. So yeah, ini lebih ke buat pemegang paspor yang di Indo. Sorry. <laughs> There's a kid just across the street. Um, yeah. Um, so the first thing that you need to prepare is uh, an app called My SOS. So basically, uh, it's a health declaration app if you want to enter Japan. Uh, make sure you fill in the app like two to three days before your departure. You also need uh, to scan your passport from the app. And also the other thing is you need to get uh, international uh, vaccine certification. Jadi yang dari langsung dari WHO nya itu bisa kalian langsung cek for Indonesian citizen. You can check di uh, peduli lindungi. Terus nanti ada check my uh, vaccine certification. Terus pilih yang international. Uh, very easy to manage. Uh, gampang banget. Udah. Terus make sure you guys printed that document out. Karena nanti pas sampai di Jepang kalian langsung uh, tinggal tunjukin aja di situ tuh udah kayak teratur banget udah diarahin turun dari pesawat kan. Tinggal lewat di mana aja kalian tinggal bawa uh, nunjukin app-nya itu nanti app-nya pas kalian apply uh, dia bakal warna merah dulu terus setelah beberapa saat setelah udah di confirm sama uh, government di sini nanti warnanya berubah jadi biru atau hijau biru jadi biru that means like you guys you guys are good to go another thing yang helpful banget um, itu get a pocket wifi like this uh, I know there's a lot of options nowadays you can get a sim card you can get a pocket uh, pocket wifi but in my opinion like pocket wifi itu lebih berguna uh, karena kalau misalnya apalagi kalau misalnya kalian travelingnya nggak sendiri itu mending pakai pocket wifi aja karena itu bisa sharing bareng dan ini aku dapatnya dari jet5 thank you so much for sending me this pocket wifi it has been so helpful during this trip uh, selama trip ini nggak ada masalah sama sekali padahal aku pindah-pindah dari Osaka ke Kyoto ke pas itu sempat ke Fuji habis itu um, ke Tokyo dan sinyalnya selalu kencang uh, habis itu baterainya juga tahan banget dan the cutest thing, dia bisa kayak custom ke foto kalian di layarnya, so it's very cute um, very useful apalagi ya, yes, I think that's all dan buat, uh, oh ya yeah, visa uh, kebetulan aku pemegang e-passport jadi untuk visanya itu aku tinggal apply visa wifi which is very convenient, kalian tinggal bawa visanya uh, uh, sorry, kan tinggal bawa paspor uh, ke konsulat jenderal Japan. Nah itu prosesnya itu bisa satu sampai dua hari. Kalau aku kemarin itu prosesnya sehari aja udah jadi. Terus kan dapat visa waiver yang berlaku selama tiga tahun. Dan itu kalau nggak salah durasi visitnya per visit itu 15 hari. So I guess that's all. And I hope you guys find this information helpful. And I hope you guys can come and visit Japan as soon as possible. That's all for the video. Thank you for watching. See you on my next vlog. Bye!